Hi Alexia, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Well, you've been in Finland before. Do you have any memories here? Um, you know, um, I've been so many times that you know I just remember the first time I I've been here uh, because I lost my baggage. You know, um, I didn't have the experience that here in Finland everything is worked out. It's very uh, clear. In Italy, if you lost the baggage, you lost the baggage. You know what I mean. <laughs> The, the the day after I had my my bag in my my room, so I was very happy. But you know, at the first, I was really really uh, afraid. <laughs> well, you used to sing in English, but nowadays you sing mostly in your own language. Why did you decide to change the language? You know, um, when I started with dance music, with mm, international music, I was really busy. Um, my life was basically on uh, on a plane so um, I I felt that I was losing my life I would lose I was losing my private life uh, I didn't have a life uh, um, it wasn't uh, in my hands so I started wondering about that and I said to myself maybe I have to stop and think about about me Secondly, because um, you know, I was working so hard, earning a lot of money, but in my own country, um, it wasn't important because I used to sing in English. Uh, most of Italians didn't know that I was the real singer; thought that I was just a, a nice girl who was um, pretending, you know, you know, singing. And you know, it wasn't very. It wasn't really worth for me. I was uh, I was unhappy for that. So I decided to change and try to sing in my own language, and it was a it was a success. I know that you know my my career now it's um, a little bit uh, different than before. Now my my success is you know, in Europe, but most of my my career is in Italy. But I, but I'm happy because now I have my life. I do my own stuff and I'm very happy and uh, people recognize my talent. <laughs> what is the hardest hardest thing on tour? Sorry? What is the hardest uh, okay. hardest thing on tour? I you know um, I slept, I used to sleep on the on the plane, uh, eat on the plane, uh, a lot of different le- jet lag all over the world. It was a very um, unhealthy for, it was physically unhealthy. That's uh, maybe the hardest part. Also, you know, um, I I had uh, uh, a lot of push in um, in my career because I had to be, you know, always in in a very good shape, uh, very good face, always smiling. It's not that easy when you're really tired. When you when you have um, when you don't have. Uh, alive when you're missing your mom your your family your 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 country what kind of music do you listen to when you're at home you know um, I used to listen a lot of different kind of music because I I grew up with classical rock blues soul Um, I love very much R&B uh, always, forever. <laughs> but I, but I'm listening to um, a lot of Italian stuff at the moment because I think that we got good writers, good songwriters. Uh, who are your biggest musical inspirers? It's always been um, Aretha Franklin, Etta um, James, uh, Stevie Wonder. I love very much now um, John Legend. I think that it's a great, uh, it's a great, maybe it's the new Steve Wonder. Well, um, do you miss anything from the 90s? <laughs> I miss the atmosphere because you know, um, especially in Italy, in Europe, I don't know what's going on here in Finland, but in Italy everything is changed. Um, we were happier before, maybe because I was younger. I don't know, but you know, we were richer. We 
we got values, we are missing values, we are missing hero in Italy, we are not very happy, um, we've got serious problem um, in our government, uh, we are problem, people are losing jobs. Um, so I miss the atmosphere, everybody uh, was thinking that everything was going on in the right way. It wasn't right like that, maybe because I was younger, I, I have to say, but that's what I miss. Um, but, but, but I think that it, um, I, I did have to change direction because um, it could last forever, first of all. Secondly, because I really need a change. Well, what do you think about dance music nowadays? I like very much Lady Gaga. I think she's um, she's the new uh, Madonna. I think she's very young. She has to to do stuff like that because she got the body, she got the face, she got uh, the energy to do that. And I think that she's not so strange as, as we think that he, she is. She's she's just doing a, a performance. Um, also, the latest video I, I think is very good. Okay, everybody's talking about that because it's very uh, strange, it's tough. I think it's a performance. That's it. Well, have you thought of recording electronic dance music again? I think never say never because um, I remember Donna Summer and Cher, they came back with a great su dance success uh, when they was 14, <laughs> you know, um, maybe. Well, what has been the most exciting thing during your career? Uh, you know, I remember, you know, the the first country where I won a, a platinum record was here in Finland. I think that Finland was the first country who recognized my success, and it was so exciting to see uh, that I was in the first position of the chart and Michael Jackson was in the second position, I said, okay, just here. And um, so it was very strange for me, I, I couldn't believe that. Um, but you know, I think that every day it's exciting when you realize that you do this job because you are born to do that. Uh, you really got a passion who let you going on and on day by day also if you got sometimes problem or you know <laughs> you got a wall to to jump over but um, I think it's like that when you really when you become uh, when you can control yourself when you can control your passion